So what is it about the Madison in November? There's no place like it. Not a lot of people know about it. But those that do, they just set their clock. It's sort of like the coming of winter. Um, everything changes here. It gets more quiet. The browns and the rainbows come up. So do the whites. They come up into the park. And in the old days, they believed that they went up there to spawn, which is definitely what the browns do, as well as the whites. But they couldn't figure out why the rainbows came up. And now there's pretty strong evidence that the the fish just winter up in the park where the water is, you know, quite warm with the geothermic flows. You can get like 60 degrees in, in January. So no, nobody really knows what it would be like to fish in the park because, well, it's not accessible. I and mean, then if you come in on a snowmobile, you got to stay on the trail. And if the water isn't warm enough to melt the snow, it just snows right over anyway. So really nobody really knows that the fish do stay there the winter. It's believed that they do. But the last week, this is the best. The park is empty, no tourists, no motorhomes. Patches of snow, the buffalo, maybe the lone angler out there in the river. I'm going to try something with uh, the rubber legs, yellow and white rubber legs. I've got a lot of different flies with rubber legs. Um, a lot of egg patterns in this box, but I got boxes and boxes of various rubber legs, all different colors. Girdle bugs, they call them girdle bugs because in the old days, uh, uh, men used to go buy a girdle. <laughs> it was the only place they could get that elastic to make legs. Bitch cricks, girdle bugs. Um, this one here is called the Autumn Splendor. It's one of the more famous ones up here. But the ones I was catching them on, I've got um, one brown and four whites on a, a purple one. Um, in fact, uh, I think it's this one right here. Tied it up just the other day. It's a monster looking thing. This is the exact one that caught all those fish just a moment ago. One more. Don't squeeze it with that head. That head, calm it down. <laughs> that was a good one. The fish have migrated further up river than we suspected. When we were getting whites down below, um, it kind of meant that the trout were going to be in front of them. The, the whites run the caboose on this river. So um, there's some belief that they went up to Gibbon, but most people argue that they don't make it to the Gibbon, that they just stay high in the Madison. Well, we heard tell that there was a couple up there in the Gibbon, so we came up here. This, this river is tiny, just a trickle, and the, the I can't believe the pigs are getting out of here. Mostly browns. We've got two nice, ra three rainbows, uh, but I'd say 17 browns over 20 inches. Uh, we got 
probably 20 whites as well. Um, I'd say this hole alone's at 28, um, but collectively that's what we've got. And they're they're eating um, Mean Gene, which is a little um, well, it's a it's a little sculpted pattern actually. It looks like a little sculpted, and then this little egg. And I think it's the white fish that are dropping the eggs, but I'm not necessarily sure. The browns are also dropping eggs, but I think the whites are further along. Their bellies are more ripe, more rump, so we're, we're using an egg about like this. And it's just drifting it through, and I'm getting as many on the mean gene as I am on the egg. You don't really need a lot of fish. Yeah, we come here for the quality. The quality of the fishing is what brings us back. It's definitely something special about the park this time of year. It's sort of like a bit of a do before it goes to sleep.